What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel, good to see you. Hope you're doing super well. Hope you're finding a lot of value here on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm putting a lot of work in, trying to bring you the best content that I possibly can, and it's all coming from the heart. Today I wanna to talk about three things you can start doing on Zillow to start getting free leads. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. Now everybody knows you can pay Zillow a ton of money to get a bunch of leads, but nobody's really talking about the things that you can do for free to utilize Zillow to build your business. Now I'm not talking about you should build your business on Zillow for free or that's something that's gonna take your business to another level, no. I'm just gonna give you some tips today that can help put you in position to get leads here and there and to really kind of build your brand because here's the facts. Zillow is one of the largest trafficking websites in the industry okay more people go to Zillow right more buyers and sellers go to Zillow than probably any other website in the industry so they have a lot of eyeballs of your customers and I just want you to be in the best position possible with those eyeballs the first thing you need to do is hit the like button because this is gonna be another incredible video that's gonna help you tremendously. But seriously, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Zillow and go to your profile, okay? You can have a, a Zillow profile as a real estate agent for absolutely free, okay? This is something that if you don't have a profile on Zillow, you need to create a profile on Zillow. This is something that I wasn't doing for so many years. Okay, um, only maybe two years ago, I actually dressed up my profile and I started getting Zillow reviews. Okay, so but up to that point, I had nothing on there. All right, so I just decided that, you know, I don't get Zillow leads and I wasn't really worried about Zillow and I just kind of ignored Zillow and that's all fine and dandy. However, people are looking at Zillow and you should have your profile up to date. Make sure you have a really good picture, okay? And when you're writing the description of your bio or whatever it's called on Zillow, make sure that it's more about the customer than about you, okay? Make sure that it's not about you, 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 this is everything I did, this is what I sold, and this and that and the other. Make sure that it's more about the customer and that you're there for them and the things that you want to provide them and bring them value. So we want to get all that in place. You can also embed videos. So if you have some kind of introductory video or, or some kind of commercial or something that you have that you want your clients to see as a kind of, you know, who is Ricky Carruth or something like that, put it there, all right? That's the, you know, video is, is you know, moving up the ladder is the king. They say it all the time. So this is a good opportunity to put a video in there as well um, to attract some more possible customers. Another thing you can do to dress your profile up is start to add all your clothes, sales, and your listings and make sure that, you know, all that information is accurate, that you have all your clothes sales from all your, your past closings on there, right? That's gonna show that, you know, you're in the game and you're selling properties, and that's gonna show credibility for you to those people that are coming and looking at your profile. Make sure your listings are right and accurate and everything is there. Okay, so now we have our profile looking really sharp. Okay, we've got a really good picture, all right? Our bio is, is telling them, you know, a little bit about us and that we're here for them, maybe embed some video. Okay, we got all our listings there, we have all our past sales there and our closings, and we're just shaping this thing up, okay? So people are gonna visit your profile, okay? Maybe they see an advertisement of yours, okay? A lot of time, they're gonna go to Zillow and look you up, okay, before they call you. They're gonna see what you're about right there. So I've heard agents say, you know, several times that all they have is a Zillow profile, you know, and they get calls. You know, and the people say that they found them on Zillow. Okay, I get calls from clients that say they found me on Zillow and I don't pay Zillow a dime. It's just from having a really good profile on Zillow and a really good presence there. Another thing I get are free leads. I'll get a lead every once in a while from Zillow for free. And I don't know if that's Zillow just teasing me, you know, like here's a lead, pay us and we'll give you more leads or what the case may be. The leads that I get, the free leads, seem to always be for my listing. So I think it's literally 
people that are going to my profile or maybe they find one of my listings somewhere and they, they scroll down and they see that I have it listed and they want to contact the listing agent. Maybe some of these people are really savvy and they know that the premier agents that are right there up front are not necessarily the listing agents and they scroll down and they find me and they message me directly through Zillow. Not quite sure, but I do get free leads from Zillow in my inbox. So um, that's something that's just a kind of a bonus as well. It's not a ton of leads, but it is every once in a while. Let's just say one every couple months, which is not a lot, but it is a lead here and there um, that could turn into something. All the stuff's gonna add up over time. The next thing you need to do is you need to start sending Zillow review requests to your clients after every closing, right? And there's a couple little tricks there. Sometimes people, they break out their phone and they, they do it right there at the closing table and say, hey, can you give me a review real quick at the closing table, right? I haven't been the best at getting Zillow reviews. I do have quite a bit. I could have more if I push the issue a little more, but um, you should definitely go after the Zillow reviews. The more of those Zillow reviews, the better your profile is gonna look and the more credibility you're gonna have. Now, one thing that I don't want you to do is to get upset if you get a negative Zillow review, okay? I've had some negative Zillow reviews. I think I have one negative Zillow review, and that was from like 2010. I didn't even start to dress up my Zillow profile till maybe 2017, so I, didn't, I had no idea that this negative review was on my profile. And so when I looked in 2017, when I decided, okay, I'm gonna try to dress up my profile, there were only two reviews. One was a five-star review, they loved me to death, and the other one was a negative review. Um, so, but that's okay, okay? What I want you to keep in mind is that negative reviews make you look human. If you have 18 positive reviews and one negative review, okay, that's good, all right? It makes you look human, it makes you look like it's not fake. If all you had was just positive reviews, then that could turn into a situation where, you know, they don't know if they really believe that this person is that great. Who is that great? Who is that perfect? Okay, so sometimes the negative reviews make you look human and can actually work out positively for you. So don't sweat the negative reviews. Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing to help people and, and, and work hard and be honest. And I think at the end of the day, you're not gonna make everybody happy. Okay, so just know that do your best, and let's go. So up to this point, we're just doing little things, okay? We're gonna have to do them on a consistent basis. We're gonna have to check the closed sales and make sure each closed sale is going in there. We're gonna make sure our listings are going good. We're gonna get reviews from our clients every time we close a property. Those are things that we have to do on a consistent basis to keep our profile you know, in a really good spot and continue growing you know, our presence on Zillow. We're gonna get people that check us out. They're gonna see our profile. They're gonna call us. We're gonna get a couple free leads here and there from Zillow because of our listings. And we're just gonna have overall, just like I said, good credibility in the market. And the last way that you can utilize Zillow to get free leads and to capitalize, get listings, get sales, is to call the make me move or the for sale by owners that are trying to advertise on Zillow. Call those people right see what's going on with them see if they've had a lot of activity work them as a for sale by owner there's a video below of me calling for sale by owners live with my entire strategy there but what i want to do is i want to get in there and i want to let them tell me about the house meet them face to face if i can i want to find out why they are selling right and where they're moving to and i want to get all the backstory and see what their plans are and see what i can do to help them accomplish those goals if i can help them sell the property that they have for free just by giving them good advice this is what i would do this is what i wouldn't do and they sell that property you may create a relationship in which you will represent them when they buy their next property okay so there's a lot going on there also if you give them really good advice and they don't sell it and they throw in the towel and want to hire an agent who are they going to let list it you, because you were there, not going after the deal, but just trying to help them. Okay, so, you know, that's a, that's a you know, debatable issue on how to handle the for sale by owners, but for sale by owners are on Zillow, and we can utilize Zillow to locate them, get their phone number, call them, and create those relationships, create that business, add to our database, 
and just put ourselves in a really good position. So just to recap, what we want to do is we want to create a really powerful profile, okay? We want to get really good bio, really good picture, embed some video. We want to get our closings on there, our listings. We want to start asking for reviews. We want to build those reviews up on Zillow. Okay, then we want to utilize the for sale by owners in our market that are advertising on Zillow. Okay, um, and all of that put together should put you in a pretty good spot to capitalize on some business. So I hope this video helped you a lot. I hope you take the actions that I talked about in this video and it helps you build your business and take yourself to the next level. If there's anything in the world I can do for you or if there's a video that you want me to make, please comment below and let me know what that is and I'll be glad to do it. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm still answering every single DM. I'm not sure how, but I'm still making that happen. So if there's anything you need, at Ricky Kruth on Instagram is the best place to find me. And until the next video, let's go.